Hello fantastic creatures, I'm Fanta Sims and am I making yet another speculation video based on the Henford on Bagley clue that we got yesterday? Yes you bet I am because some more things have come to light, some more hints and I just love to speculate because it's fun. So yesterday we talked about a couple of acrostic poems that Grim Surudoi posted on Twitter and as many of you pointed out and I failed to see it at the time, he used these phrases that we went over, hey everyone nothing fairly overt right, don't overexcite now, behold a graceful lightness encircling you, is an acrostic poem that spells out Henley on Bagley and he did it again for this one hunks emerge naturally from oversized ripe durians on nearby boulders all glistening like emerald yeoman we discussed this already yesterday so I won't go over all of these again but then he posted another one and it's way more detailed but he said he was challenged to write a sonnet so he wrote a sonnet and again it spells out Henford on Bagley each time the world encircles me with stress not giving any space or room to pause for task on task I feel I must address or be consumed by future's fateful jaws rare is the friend who in these moments dark defends our bond and fights for time to laze on seti shays together on a lark neglects us not but gives us glass to raise beyond today this witty friend may say all our tomorrows be but newly hatched go forth take stock your heart shall guide the way let not your future by the past be snatched each one of us tries to persist alone yet it's in friendship that true grit is shown First of all, Grim Surudoi is an amazing poet, let me just say that, but this might be reading too much into it, which it probably is, but it's still fun. I I was drawn to this, but newly hatched. Now, I know that's a turn of phrase, but I feel like in the context of this looking like a countryside type of a pack, and there seem to be a lot of other farming hints, like, like this video and this image that is from Iron Seagull's speculation video, go check him out, I love his videos. Um, this tent that was provided with the most recent game pack could be a farming hint as well, and this is something that the wonderful David Henry from my video yesterday pointed out that along with this kid's tent with the farming decor all over it, the Bagleys, because remember this world is called Henley on Bagley, the Bagley was the surname of a family in Sims 3 that lived in a farmhouse and had a barn and so that seems to be pointing also at farming. And as the lovely Philo Sirius, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, pointed out, the Bagleys were actually from a long line of criminals and they gained all the riches from stolen objects. So if you if we look here on Sims fandom. It talks about them being criminals and having a barn full of stolen objects. A barn full of stolen objects. Now, I don't know because this could tie into clues for criminals. As Iron Seagull pointed out in his video, um, with the one of the kits that we got, the Courtyard Oasis kit, the description on one of the genie wall lamps is kind of mimicking the story of Aladdin about stealing this lamb. So that clue is probably a bit of a stretch. But if the Bagleys are tied to this as well as the Crumple bottoms which we talked about yesterday then maybe like in the base game update that comes out before the pack they could be reintroducing burglars although that might also be a stretch because this kind of a world doesn't seem like it would suit a base game update of burglars although I kind of love that contrast and I do think that does fit the silliness of sims to have this picturesque beautiful world and then also incorporate burglars into it but I feel like burglars farming fairies and a countryside are all way too much to be put in an expansion pack then last night sim guru george posted posted yet another picture of this pig. He did this last year. Here it is. It's exactly the same. And he posted it right before Journey to Batu, and so everyone was speculating we were going to get a farming pack. So then last night he posted it again and you know what? He loves to mess with us so much that I I don't even consider this an actual clue. <laughs> but it might turn out to be one and it pictures a chef pig. So does that tie into the farming hints? I don't know. You guys can let me know if you think that's too much of a stretch. There's also the possibility of revamping the plant sims. This is an image taken from the Red Plum Bob's YouTube video about the differences between the different plant sims. Definitely go check that out. So in Sims 4 we have plant sims, but I think the effect of the, the way that they look here only lasts for a few days. You can correct me. I don't really play with plant sims because it's not as permanent as I think the previous iterations were. So the beautiful Nora Julie uh, suggested that it could be plant sims as part of this pack as well. I do think it ties into the countryside vibe of this world really well, especially if gardening is highlighted in this. Also the beautiful Pamela Newton pointed this out too, that Emerald Yeoman, so we talked yesterday about Grim Surudoi making his one of his acrostic poems talked about emerald yeomen and we looked at that the definition for a yeoman is like a in history was like a middle class person who owned their own land and so that kind of seems like it ties into farming and so this is a really interesting point that maybe emerald yeoman speaks of like plant sims because they're green and they own their own plot of land so Pamela made the brilliant point that it's kind of like the plant sims from Sims 2 they were like the aliens in Sims 4 and I think they reproduced by planting a seed 
in the garden, and I, it seems like they were described as kind, shy, and excellent gardeners. So that could really tie really well into this kind of pack. Now the next hint pointing to a farming pack I find kind of funny, and it's based on the back of the postcard that we were shown yesterday, um, with the date, like why does it say November 4th, 2019? And some people have been pointing out that November 4th is National Chicken Lady Day. <laughs> But I don't know. So it's based on this uh, lovely person who improved the quality of her local community. And so they created a holiday for her. But I feel like it's so specific to that community that I don't know if this would actually be a hint. But I don't know. Maybe it's pointing towards chickens, pointing towards farming. So I can't seem to find anything else for what was celebrated on November 4th, 2019, other than this for this popular National Chicken Lady Day. So maybe it is a clue after all. I don't know. So is this newly hatched clue for? from Grim, Sue, Rudoy, and all the other ones we just went over, a good hint for farming. You guys let me know. There's probably more hints that I've definitely missed. Now, going back to hints about fairies, like I mentioned yesterday, this acrostic poem from Grim, Sue, Rudoy about fairly overt and behold a graceful lightness encircling you, very magical language. And I know a lot of people are just saying it's just him doing an acrostic poem, but I do think that it was very specific language. And I will say that even though he's probably just being silly, a lot of times when they post these kinds of clues, they do end up being true, even if it's not about something we thought it was. And alone, maybe it wouldn't be a very strong argument for fairies. But back in 2017, sorry, this is so blurry, I tried to make it bigger. Um, in the 2017 survey, they described fairies and it's a step lightly through the magic dust and try not to sneeze as it's time to embrace magic in The Sims 4 Fairies. Create your fairies that are tiny and oh so magical. Escape to a hidden fairy world where you can learn new tricks to cause mischief back in the real world. Create fairies. Create your own tiny new sim fairy using a variety of new magical outfits, colourful wings and sparkly decoration options. A hidden fairy world. Fairies can flutter about through a new magical fairy world which can only be seen if you're a fairy or have been granted special permission by fairy kind. Cause mischief, gather up enough magic pixie dust, and train your fairy to learn new tricks. Cause mischief, enchant objects, and embrace the magical mayhem. And this seems like it ties really well into a Twitter post from April where Simguru George posted, you can only play in one world until Monday morning. What world do you choose and what do you start and what lot do you start on? And Simguru Frost said, I choose redacted. And then Simguru George replied, you know that redacted only works if you're playing with redacted sims in the new redacted and none of the packs that we got the kit packs and the recent game pack um, fits into this hint but the whole idea of a fairy world that can only be accessed through fairy sims seems to tie into this hint really well so if that is the case Henford on Bagley might actually come with an area that can only be accessed with fairies to go into a separate magical world and that does feel expansion level to me and I'm kind of leaning more towards not not so much actual farming, but maybe a gardening based pack that has fairies to it. And this is the only way I can see justifying an expansion pack around gardening since we've already been given gardening in the base game and also added gardening stuff with eco lifestyle. I feel like to make an entire pack about gardening, it needs to have so much more. And I, I personally feel like fairies would be a great way to make it feel more like an expansion pack. And as the beautiful Ariana Moore pointed out on my video, fairies are part of European folklore. So it does seem to tie in perfectly with that. And the same thing was pointed out by wonderful Micmac. Where did fairies originate from? Yup, Britain. As well as my beautiful friend Ibris of Amber who also pointed out that fey folk are a big staple of English folklore and that with an English countryside type of pack that we're probably going to get like a cottage core type of style. So I feel like this redacted hint about the redacted only working if you're playing with redacted sims in the new redacted, I feel like that hints way more towards fairies and since it, it wouldn't make sense for him to be making this much of a hint for a pack that's not going to be coming out until like the end of the year or next year and since it doesn't relate to any of the packs that we've already got I really think this is a hint at this new expansion pack that we'll be getting and to me that points more towards fairies than maybe farming. I, I really don't think we'll be getting a full-on farming pack with fairies. I, I feel like that would be way too much to be put in one pack but as brought up in 2019 by Ray357 there are chickens in Island Living already. You can't interact with them they're just kind of running around the world so I think some of the 
the hints that we talked about earlier with our, all our tomorrows be newly hatched as Grim Sewer Doy put in his poem it could incorporate some chickens you know having maybe we'll be able to take care of some chickens in the cottages in this cottage world because that does kind of suit an English countryside vibe to it you know having your own chickens having some fairies so I think that might be more of what it is some gardening some chickens some fairies more than a full-on full-blown farming pack and I definitely think it is a British styled town like S.A. pointed out on my video Henford makes them think of Henley on Thames it's very expensive picturesque and like I pointed out in my video yesterday it also reminds me of Stratford upon Avon which is the birthplace of William Shakespeare but it has that very medieval cottagey kind of style to it now there has been some speculation about cars coming and I know other people have reported on this and it was based on a post by Katharina Tressler who said that the birthplace of the first Ford car from Henry Ford Hen Ford was called Bagley Avenue coincidence and then a sim guru frost replied that is a pretty hilarious coincidence but sorry not this time but then this official sims account replied no let me explain sim guru frost it's logical however I, I live in Michigan and I'm quite close to the Henry Ford Museum and I can attest that this style right here looks nothing <laughs> like Henry Ford whatsoever so I could see them trying to put cars perhaps in I mean that's a pretty good hint for cars but I just don't think it fits this world particularly and it seems like an odd link between a British styled world with an American car company and also the sims officially seems to confirm this when they reply to Stefo sims by saying no not this time which makes sense I don't think that they're going to be jam packing all of this stuff into a base game update and the expansion pack and then lastly sim guru George just posted this image and talked about how he's next to his dog who is long overdue for a bath and that this sign speaks to him and although it seems like it's probably just a casual post about his everyday life he always does this right before a pack is about to be released he posts a ton of images that make no sense with random captions underneath i don't even know what to make of this i can't see any clues in this that have to do with the pack but you watch it'll end up being some random obscure thing that's part of the pack or something so what do you guys think about these clues do you think that this world is going to have more of a gardening fairies type theme or do you really think that the clues about hatching and some of the farming hints and the chicken hints that we've been getting, do you think those point more to a farming pack? Let me know in the comments below. I love reading your comments. And of course, you're probably going to point out a bunch of things that I completely failed to notice, which I find that very helpful. <laughs> um, so anyway, until we get more hints and news, I freaking love you guys. Mm -hmm.